thank you for joining us for our next video presentation of uploading your documents to ADM. Our document storage system at ADM is called eDoc Manager, and it is the digital document folder for each loan file. All loan documents are digitally stored and managed in the eDoc Manager. From this next view, we're looking at the loan in a snapshot view and you'll see the eDoc Manager in the lower right-hand panel. This loan has not had any new uploads, so all new loans will only have one folder displaying in eDoc Manager. The plus sign to the left of the word General on this folder will expand and show you what's stored within this digital folder. By clicking on the plus sign, you'll see that we have the 1003 loan application as well as a pre-app closing cost estimate. You click on the minus sign and now we're back to our starting point. Now there are two ways that you can access eDoc Manager and one is from the top navigation bar by clicking on the eDoc Manager folder or within loan snapshot view such as a view that we're in now in the lower right hand panel. For this session, we will use eDoc Manager from the top navigation bar, as this option provides more flexibility. For instance, eDoc Manager from the top navigation bar will open a separate window that you can move to another screen, resize, and even drop and drag your documents. To begin our demonstration, we are going to attach a document to an existing condition. First, we will open eDoc Manager search for findings within findings you will look for your loan decision document click on the magnifying glass and we have different sections within this page under the open conditions you see the attached document icon once you click on that you have an option of selecting the document finding it on your computer naming that document, providing a little bit more detail, for instance, if it's a bank statement, the name of the bank, and the month that that statement is for. And then click Save Files. To click and drag your conditions to the eDoc Manager, Find your Lender Loan Response Document, click on the Attach Document icon, open the location where your document is stored, and drag it to the gray area. You'll have the same options as before, we'll select the category, and provide a brief description of that document. In our asset statement example, you'll, you'll enter the name of the bank as well as the month and year, and then click Save File. However, if you just click on Upload from the top right-hand corner of eDoc Manager, you still have another way that you can attach that document to a condition. Find the document from your computer. Again, make sure you're categorizing it, providing a brief description. And since this document or this loan has already been conditionally approved, you'll see an entry or an option for you to attach to condition. All active and open conditions will be located within the dropdown and click on attach to condition. Be sure you click, click save files to make sure that it's uploaded and attached to that condition. Now once a loan has been conditionally approved, you'll have additional folders in eDoc Manager such as General, Findings, Processing, Uploads, and Junk. Let's take a look at each one of these. General are any system generated docs such as the 1003 and the 1008. Findings are documents returned via another interface, such as credit reports, AU findings, flex routes, or any documents created by a user request or a response, such as the registration or lock request, 
or that lock confirmation. Process includes verification such as of employment, mo uh, um, mortgage, and deposit, uploads of documents uploaded by user, and although we do not delete any documents, the junk folder will separate those from the active loan. So we have just reviewed how to upload documents into ADM via eDoc Manager. Now after the loan is conditionally approved, you'll need to attach documents to the loan conditions directly. We're going to take another look at how to do that. Open Findings from your eDoc Manager. Search for the Lender Loan Response document. And then click on the magnifying glass. We'll take a closer look at the Lender Loan Response document. The first section includes the borrower information, credit score, subject property information, as well as loan information. The next portion starts listing our conditions. The first option, the first section, will be our open conditions. Beneath that, you'll see our internal conditions, which right now it is collapsed as well as the cleared conditions, which is also collapsed. We're going to focus on the open condition items. So let's take a look at this in more detail. The open condition section contains the condition description, the type of condition, the responsible party, and the status. In this case, you can see the status is still shown with the attached document icon. You'll click on that attached document icon to open the upload window. If you see a paperclip, that paperclip indicates that a document has already been attached. However, you can still attach a document or an additional document using the attach document icon. Once you're ready to upload a document, Click on Select Files or drag the files to the center of the Upload Document screen. In this session, we reviewed the two methods of opening eDoc Manager and the benefits of each, uploading documents to ADM by attaching them to their relative conditions. And we do suggest that when your loan is ready for review by underwriting, be sure to click on Update Lender from the Loan Actions menu. We suggest having about 40% or so of the conditions uploaded to the file. We ask that you refrain from uploading documents that are password protected. And if at any time you'd rather read through the manual rather than watching this video, we've uploaded an accompanying manual by the same title to help you through your uploading of documents. We'll catch you on the next video presentation. Have a great day.